issue we're going to fix today is the Skype won't open on Windows 10. Uh, not being able to use an application that has become extremely common all across the globe can be pretty significant issue. So um, before you proceed with any step, try downloading and installing the desktop version of Skype using the link we have given in the video's description and also try to update the Skype to the latest version. Uh, if you have done so, then uh, proceed with the steps uh, given uh, further in this video. The first solution that we have is to run SFC scan on the uh, on Windows 10. Right click on the start menu or open um, a command from admin or uh, you can click on start menu search for the command prompt right click on it and then select run as administrator click on yes for the USB prompt uh, once you are on the elevated command prompt type SFC space forward slash scan now no space uh, between scan and now and hit enter this process will start scanning your computer for the issues and if it finds any corrupted or missing files on the computer it will fix them let's wait for the process to get completed it can take uh, some time to get complete so do not close the command prompt window just wait for the process to get completed and then uh, we can proceed further with its results so once the SFC scan now completes and it shows you a message that it found some corrupt system components and uh, successfully repaired them, you can go further and uh, run another command to repair system components which were corrupt. Uh, the command is PISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup. The command is uh, DASM uh, for space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup hyphen image and then space forward slash restore health. Press enter for this command. This command also going to take a lot of time uh, five minutes to ten minutes. Just don't close the command prompt window and let it uh, complete its work and process. Once done, uh, try running Skype and see if that works now. Our next step is to try launching and signing into Skype in safe mode. Press Windows and R key. Now type msconfig msconfig.exe Hit enter. Now on system configuration window move to boot option and check the checkbox saying safe mode safe boot also enable network option from the settings click on apply and then click on ok a pop-up will came up click on restart it's going to restart your computer with a safe board in networking So once your computer starts in safe mode with networking, try launching Skype and check if it works. If the problem persists, then what we need to do is press Windows and R key, type percentage app data percentage and hit enter. Locate the folder Skype, right click on it on Skype folder, click on rename and let's make it Skype underscore any random number. Hit enter so that the folder rename took places. Press enter so that it gets renamed. We need to quit the Skype if it's already running on my computer. So Try again, rename the folder. Once the folder is renamed, try launching the Skype again 
and see if that works now. Uh, once you check the Skype and it starts working, press Windows and R key, type msconfig.exe, uh, go to boot tab, uncheck the safe boot mode and then apply, ok and then restart so that Windows can restart into normal mode. Ok, so once your computer is back online in normal mode, uh, we need to disable UPnP. Uh, Skype has a feature known as UPnP that is enabled by default on all clients. Unfortunately, this feature can in some cases lead to the client not being able to correctly communicate with Skype servers and sign into Skype. So if you are having issues in signing into Skype, uh, launch Skype. Let's wait for the Skype launch. Click on Tools and then click on Options. From Options, click uh, in Options. We go to Advanced and in Advanced we click on Connection and then in the right pane. In right pane, if you see any option saying enable UPnP, then you need to uncheck that and then click on save. Uh, once done, restart your computer. Uh, you should be able to see the option in here. Uh, this version of Skype that we are using, it doesn't have this option here. But if you see any enable UPnP option, just disable that and then restart your computer. Once done, try starting Skype and see if that works. If it doesn't, then we have another solution which is to uninstall and then reinstall the Skype. Uh, press Windows and R key, type appwiz.cpl. Um, it will open up the uh, uninstall or um, the program, program and feature list. From here, select your Skype and then click on uninstall. Click on yes. Wait for the program to get uninstalled. If you get any USB prompt, click on yes. Close this browser and then close this window now download the Skype uh, again and then run the installer click on USB prompt follow through the wizard to install the Skype So once the installation is complete, it should bring up uh, Skype's interface. Provide your Skype name, email address or mobile number here. Provide your Skype username and password in here and then check if that works fine. I hope uh, this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.